Good morning, and thank you for joining us here at All the United Methodist Church. We're honored you've chosen to worship with us today. A couple of quick announcements, which will sound familiar to you if you've been tuning in in recent weeks. Uh, we're continuing our food and household supply drive for seven loaves. So if you'd like to drop off donations, uh, feel free to bring them here on Saturday mornings or throughout the week if you coordinate ahead of time. Uh, we'd love to get those donations over. Uh, calls continue to go out for pasta sauce as well as hygiene products at home. Uh, they're good on rice for the time being, but anything you can offer would be extremely appreciated. appreciated. Additionally, as we've noted previously, we do welcome volunteers in our services each week. So let us know if you'd like to get involved in serving as liturgists, reading scripture, participating in music, or even doing flowers for a future month. Uh, and we'd be happy to, to work you into the schedule there. I mentioned last week about our bi-district conference coming up. I said there was a little confusion about the date. Uh, there was one email that said it was on October 31st, but we've gotten a couple that say it's on Saturday, November 14th, so we're going to go with that for the time being. Uh, so if you'd like to be a participant in that, to get the login information, send us an email and we'll, we'll fill you in on how you can be involved in that. No other announcements today, but wherever you're joining us from, we, as I mentioned earlier, are honored that you've chosen to worship with us. We hope you'll continue to do so each week. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and consider joining us in person when the day comes that we can all gather again together in person. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless you for giving us the grace and good health to gather here in your name. You have provided us with all of our needs, and you ensure that we're never lacking. Accept our worship today in the holy name of Jesus. We pray as we continue today's church service that we will feel your presence here among us. We pray for all those here today and those tuned in from home that we may always continue to serve and grow in you. At the end of today, help us to go out into the world and glorify your name and live in your presence. In your son's holy name we pray. Amen. At this time, we invite you to tune in to our opening hymn, Near to the Heart of God, number 472 in your hymnal if you're following along at home. Terribly. When they were in Egypt, 
They paid no attention to your marvelous deeds or your wonderful love, and they turned against you at the Red Sea. But you were true to your name, and you rescued them to prove how mighty you are. You said to the Red Sea, dry up, and then you led your people across the land as dry as a desert. You saved all of them and drowned every one of their enemies. Then your people trusted you and sang your praises. We come to that time in our service where we lift up our joys and concerns, and, and we have several today that I'd, I'd like you to listen to and, and to pray about. Uh, number one, David's already mentioned seven loaves, but we also want to remember that Thanksgiving is coming and, you know, just all the holidays coming up and everything else. So they have the regular needs that they need and the spaghetti sauce and everything else. But let's also try to remember for the future and start stocking up some stuff for, for Thanksgiving, okay? Uh, remember no glass items, jars, anything like that. Everything needs to be in a can or, or in a package, all right? Um, next joint concern, uh, Jerry is continuing to recuperate at home. Uh, got some good news from the doctors here the last couple of days, and it looks like there is hope that he's going to be able to be walking around a lot better here in another couple, three weeks. Um, so we just ask you to continue to pray for Jerry's recovery and continue to pray for Terry to put up with having to be the nurse and the provider and, and everything else. Um, keep Mary Lee in your prayers also. And, and would, you know, would you remember to send her cards. Um, it's good to lift people up in prayer, but it's also good to reach out to them. So if, if you remember Mary Lee, and, and since she's still in isolation, but let's send her a card or something and let her know we're still thinking about her. Uh, Pappy has continued to um, improve and, and do well with his treatments, so we haven't heard any more on that front, but let's continue to keep the Mendez family uh, in our prayers. Also remember everybody who's just suffering from this COVID-19 and, and even the isolation and just everything else that people are dealing with today. I, it just seems like as we go further and further apart with this isolation that our, our social structure is just kind of breaking down a little bit and we're just not, we're not together the way we should be. And I'm talking about we, everybody, the whole community, the whole world. So uh, let's continue to pray for those people, but also let's reach out to them. Um, finally, there will this kind of announcement, but there will be no Bible study on October 19th. Uh, again, because it's a meeting, Zoom meeting that I have to be at and uh, just can't make. So there being no other joys or concerns, let us pray. Blessed Lord, as we gather today to worship you, help us to remember that you caused the Holy Scripture to be written for our learning. Help us to hear them, to read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Savior, Jesus Christ. Be with those who have submitted joys and concerns today. Comfort those who need your tender touch. Bring healing to those who need healing. Comfort those who need comforting and bless those who protect and assist us during our times of need. Hear those prayers voiced openly today, Lord, and also hear those requests which lie silent on our hearts, for we know that you hear all petitions lifted up in your Son's name. We thank you for all you have done in our lives as we, the Church, pray together the prayer that your Son, Jesus Christ, taught us to pray, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As we continue with our morning offering today, we continue to extend our sincere thanks to all who have contributed to our church in this recent difficult time. As I've noted in past weeks, you can donate to our P.O. Box via check, you can access our website where there's a link to our donation portal, 
or you can simply text the word ALDI to 73256 and you'll get a link right on your phone to our donation portal. But however you choose to support us, we thank you so much. so many overwhelming needs in our world. Walk with us as we set aside our own desires and wants and join the call to alleviate human suffering. Transform these financial gifts into genuine acts of concern and ministry to others. In the name of the one who surpasses all understanding, we pray. Amen. Walk.
and this peace will control the way you think and feel. Finally, my friends, keep your minds on whatever is true, pure, right, holy, friendly, and proper. Don't ever stop thinking about what is truly worthwhile and worthy of praise. You know the teachings I gave you, and you know what you heard me say and saw me do. So follow my example, and God, who gives peace, will be with you. This is the word of God. Come Have 
brave with a thankful heart. Are we thankful for what we have, or are we just kind of whining about what we don't have? I don't like these circumstances any more than you do. I wish we could just have this, this congregation, this building packed with people, and that we could lift our voices with great glee and joy, and that we could just make the rapture shake, singing the praises of God. But that's not where we're at today. Those days are coming, but that's not today. And so we've got to pray today with a grateful heart. We have got to show gladness in our voice. Glad that God is with us. Glad that Jesus Christ came and, and taught. Glad that we had apostles, you know, and, and, and preachers and people who would go out like Paul to spread the word of God. That we could give people a reason to celebrate. That we could give people a reason to lift their voices. That you and I would have a reason to be glad. We can always find things to complain about. I think we were all born as whiners, you know. Uh, if you've ever been around a baby, you know, the baby's always crying. Well, that's kind of like us. When things go bad, we go back to our childhood and just cry. We've got to get past that. We've got to recognize the bad when we see it. We've got to recognize sin when we see it. But we also have to recognize God's grace. We have to remember the prayers that we lift up each and every week. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We need to start doing God's will on earth as it is in heaven. We need to start forgiving our trespassers. Uh, we need to start forgiving those who trespass against us if we want our trespasses forgiven. We have to practice what we preach. I remember when I was in law enforcement, one of the big terms we used to hear all the time was, don't talk the talk if you're not walking the walk. I think we've all heard that before. Well, the question is, is are we talking the talk and are we walking the walk? Are we walking with Jesus each and every day of our lives? Or are we just talking? Are we glad for what God has done in our lives? Are we glad for everything that's happening? You know, we grow through adversities. I, I can many, many times in my, in my youth, as a scout leader, in my adulthood, everything else I can name time after time after time where I was involved in a situation that I didn't want to be in, and I thought, what's going to come from this? And if we kept God centered in our lives, good came from it. And when I look back at it, I said, you know, we grow more through adversity than we do through just coasting along, just having everything going good for us. Think in your own lives. When have you been challenged? When have you really been up against it? And didn't God come in with some kind of an answer, some kind of a relief? And when you look back at it, you say to yourself, yes, that's true. God was there. God did calm my heart. God did see me through. We need to practice what we preach. We need to go out and be God's apostles and disciples. We need to, we need to set the example for what people should be. And most of all, we need to be glad Get a smile on your face. Every once in a while, just get up and think to yourself, look in the mirror and just say, I love Jesus Christ. I love what Christ has done in my life. I love the grace that God has given me. I love the woman that God brought into my life. I love the children that I have. I love the church that I have. There's so many things that I love. I'm so blessed. Why would I whine? Why would I cry? Why would I not turn around, change that attitude, 
I preached about that a couple weeks ago, if you remember. You know, if you want to change your attitude, change what you're doing. Change the way you're acting. Be glad. Praise Jesus Christ. And let your life be, be driven, be guided. Everything in your life should be done by the Scripture. Read the Scripture. Study the Scripture. Understand what's going on, what God expects from you and I. And then say to yourself, what am I doing? How am I acting this out? Am I doing what God has called me to do? Am I praying with a grateful heart? Grateful for all I have. And may everything that we do as a church, everything that you do as an individual, everything that I do as a preacher, let everything that we do be in the name of Jesus Christ. And let us be glad. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and gracious God, you have done so much for us, and we have sinned. We know that. Help us to change, Lord. Help us to truly be your disciples. Help us to hear your word in our lives. And help us to be the people that you have created. And then send us forth to touch other lives that all may be saved. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Grace for our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Go in peace.